Uh, last up here we have Esteban Rodriguez from Hey Little Buddy. <laughs> What is it that we're doing? <laughs> we're doing the show. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. All right. Welcome to the show. I'm Dan Larson. Uh, this is the uh, TGHQ, Toy Galaxy Headquarters. This is the kitchen uh, or the galley, as they call it on boats. Uh, I'm here with, uh, we're not on boat. Uh, I'm here with uh, Mrs. Toy Galaxy, Kate. Hello. Uh, be sure to check out her podcast, oh, Drunk Dish, uh, available on all your finer and some of your not so fine uh, podcast cataloging websites and stuff. It's about food and beverage and food history and drinking alcohol and stuff. That, that covers is, it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, good. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's been a while since we did one of these. Uh, and you know, there's a, there's a rule, uh, that, uh, when we started the show here, uh, back in the day, one thing we tried to do, and, and this is a, this is a pro tip for, uh, YouTubers, content creators, podcasters, it's, it's hard with some shows. You don't date the content, right? You don't want to date the content because you don't, unless you're like a news show, right? Because you don't know when people are going to be watching your show. They might watch it the day it comes out. They might watch it four or five years later. We started this channel in 2015. Uh, some people have been very brave to go back and watch some of those earlier videos. Uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, I say that, uh, also, uh, don't date the content is different from don't date the content creator. That's what I, where I thought you were going. Is it, <laughs> I was very confused. It's different things. I was like, what am I even doing uh, in my life? Don't date the content creator. Don't marry the content creator for yes. sure. That's just dumb. Real smart. That's just dumb. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so I bring that up because uh, I'm not going to say when these boxes came in. It's been a while since we did oh, one of these videos. Is this where we're going? It's been a while since we did one of these videos. I think that the last one was probably around like Christmas time. Uh, so that's that. That. and uh, this mail, uh, some of it's old. So, but it doesn't matter because the stuff inside is probably old anyway, so who cares? Um, I also bring that up to say <laughs> that uh, when you send stuff in, there's no guarantee that it's ever gonna be on the show. Uh, I appreciate it. I love that people send stuff in. Please keep sending stuff in. Uh, if the P.O. box is not on screen right now, it's probably down in the description. If it's not, then it's on one of our older videos. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, but I can't, you know, there's no guarantee that the stuff's ever going to show up on a video. Uh, sometimes you have to pick and choose, whatever. Um, but uh, all that said, uh, we're going to jump into it. You know, I made sure that I had a razor blade here. Uh-huh, and all the boxes all are All the boxes open. are already open. So, nice. that's just, what, what do you call it? Uh, it's called being prepared. Yeah, over just making sure over prepared. Over, over prepared. That's right. Under deliver. No, prior, wait, that's not it. Prior proper preparation. So first up, we have Robbie Johnson from uh, Maple Grove, Minnesota. Uh, we do have a note. I did already read the note, so. Uh, but I'm going to read a little bit of a highlight here. Hey, Dan, first off, thank you for the amazing content that you've put out. I assume that is a universal you that includes prof uh, Professor Greg. That's a different person. <laughs> that's a different guy. Producer Greg. Uh, and uh, he says here, when we were kids, we had a Saturday morning lineup of cartoons we always watched, and that caused us to want, covet, and buy toys. Uh, now he's got his lineup of YouTubers. He watches every Saturday morning. Toy Galaxy, Michael Mercy, Doug DeMuro, Metal Jesus Rocks, Pixel Dan, and others, depending on how the mood strikes him uh, that morning. Uh, but more importantly, what uh, Robbie wanted to say here is, I sold all my collection 10 years ago as life happens, but in the last few years, I felt inspired to start collecting again in no small, some pop, some pop, some pop, some pop, some pop, some pop. In no small part to watching the weekly content put out by the Saturday morning lineup I just talked about. Uh, but as I'm doing some house cleaning, he found some stuff, odds and ends, and so he's thrown that stuff in here in this box to send in to the show. I wonder if he eats um, breakfast cereal while he does it. Cause of course, yes, so absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so inside here, uh, we have some random bits. That's what he said. He was uh, truth in advertising. Uh, there's one particular thing in here I wanted to draw some attention to. So we've got, this is, I don't even know what these are. We've got some random uh, Batman <laughs> bits. It's actually a little Lego Batman. Oh, is this a launcher? Oh, we have fun with launching stuff oh, on the yeah. show. Where hang on, that? hang on. Oh no, I don't know how to assemble the launcher. Does uh, this go here? Nope. Does this go here? Mm, nope. Oh, this is going to be severely disappointing if I can't figure it out. Oh, uh, it looks like it should go here. But was that about prior proper? Oh, I got it. Hang on. Hang on. I don't know which is the launch. Is that the launch button? Can you just throw it at me? Oh, I didn't, I didn't even think it would clear the island, but it did. 
Uh, and I think this is a bat launcher. Nope, that doesn't go there. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, but, oh, here we go. We got a blaster. There, there it is. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, that was absolutely terrible. <laughs> that won't even take an eye out. I still flinched. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. That was fun, but disappointing. Uh, actually, maybe this blaster goes... Oh, you know what? I think I had the wrong thing in the wrong blaster. Nice. Better. Ooh, that's better. Better. I don't know what the wings go to. All right, we're moving on to this one. This might actually have some of the other pieces in here. These all look like they're from the Lego Batman movie. Uh, this is like strut. This is like Sass Batman. Sass Man. This, um, this is a Joker cube. And I can't figure it out. Hang on. Nope. Oh, there it is. We got to find those. Uh, last time we had shooty stuff, it was the Captain America discs, and we lost one. That's not true. It, it, it wasn't because I shot it. It was because uh, I thought they were trash. just trash, yeah. and I threw them away. <laughs> I don't know if that was in the video, uh, but I threw them away. And then we realized what they were, and I grabbed them, and I think I lost one in the trash can. What are you going to do? And then we've got some Z-Bots, some Galoob, part of the Micro Machines. Well, after Micro Machines. Got some fun little Z-Bots guys. Oh, guys. Um, these guys, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, they're just like little uh, army guys. They kind of remind me of um, Mega mega blocks you know like the little mega blocks guys those are just little army oh actually what we got here we got uh so they may be part of the this is what i actually want to show also there's a turbo gobot in here see how his tires are are his tires often a problem well they got rubber tires oh. uh <coughs> quality stuff back in the 80s they didn't yeah. uh skimp out on tires these are good tires actually they're all still intact no cracks Got some surface wear. Still, uh, still hoping Action Toys actually releases their Machine Robo Turbo. Anyway, none of this, none of this matters. It probably just killed ten minutes on the video, and none of this was why I actually wanted to show off this box. Why I wanted to show off this box was this is a line of figures called Metal Heroes. Uh, that's not true. They are called Men of Metal, <laughs> and that's Metal spelled M-E-D-A-L. Oh, not like it's a pun. Yeah, no. not like not metal, not, not like iron yes, and no, not metal. No, <laughs> no metal as in they all come with metals. Uh, and this one in particular is the bomb expert. And the whole idea here, and I, I knew these existed. I could not have told you that they were Mattel until I looked them up earlier. Uh, 1988 Mattel. So this one is bomb expert. So you get your shiny badge and there's a clip on the back here. And the idea is that, you know, you clip it to you and you got not only can you you know, flash a badge, but just in case you get bored, you've got a little action figure uh, and you can store their little gun or backpack Whoa, or whatever on the back. Like right yeah. There. Yeah. So I don't know if these are more, they don't look like they're the same construction. They're about the same size, but uh, anyway, it might be in his note. I didn't, if he told me, I didn't remember. Random. Yeah. <laughs> a little unusual. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Uh, next up we have JC Foster from Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, JC also has a note in here. You don't have to put a note in, but I like it. I like it when people put notes in. Uh, so JC says, hey Dan, I love the show and I've been watching it for some time now. I'm particularly a fan of the Poison of Nostalgia video and your piece about the three different collecting errors of your life because I feel like I was that guy at one point too. Buy two figures, open one, and keep the other in the packaging. Uh, so inside we have, first off, we have some Halo figures. These are just like little, I don't know if these were blind box pieces. They're just a little non-posable. Oh, you know what? They're like, they're like regular people or like from the neck down, they just look like, well, this one's actually full armor. This one, these just look like people wearing like halo heads. This is a full armored one. Uh, we've also got this jewel <laughs> of a skull. I have to find a tiny little laser tag helmet for it. That is going right Put in the on the background. It is uh, delicious looking. Yeah. It looks incredibly tasty. Are there, are there, is there dino DNA inside that? <laughs> I don't know. There might be. Might be human DNA in there, based on its uh, what it's what it is. Uh, this was the one. I don't know if you remember this box. Uh, we've had this one for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the secret of Nim puzzle. <laughs> Mr. Agent. 
What is his name? Mr. Ages. Mr. Ages. Okay. I couldn't have told you that. I think this is sealed. Uh, maybe not. But it is old. This is from uh, 1981. Right? Somewhere around there. It doesn't say. I would have thought there would have been a date on here. I would have been wrong. Uh, you know, uh, 82 says on the front. Of all the scenes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. It's not the most exciting scene in uh, in the movie, but uh, man, what a movie! I haven't seen this movie in forever, and uh, it's probably I'm probably due for a rewatch because in my mind it's still one of the creepiest, like scariest, oh, like movies. I mean, it's due for a rewatch, but you are not mistaken. Yeah. Like, well, scary when you're ten. Well, eighty-two. You know, scary when you're eight. It's traumatic. It's different than scary when you're, you know, older. Uh, here we also have a uh, Funko Pop, an MLB Pop, of Slugger. This was Slugger with three R's. Uh, the Kansas City Royals uh, Lions Lion mascot. Oh, that's cute. Uh, and you know, normally I would be like, well, I'm not really, I'm not a Royals fan. I'm not a Funko Pop collector per se. Uh, so why, 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 why bother? Uh, but, you know, JC explains it in the letter. I've included the Funko Pop figure of the Kansas City Royals mascot, Slugger, two G's, three R's. I like to send people something specific and unique from my hometown. It's regional and not something you'd likely find outside of this area. And is the closest Kansas City based thing to an action figure I can think of. Also, apologies if you're a Met fan. I'm not. Uh, I mean no disrespect, and if you're uh, not a Mets fan, ignore the previous statement. So I'm not a Mets fan, so we'll ignore that. So that's very cool, and uh, really it's, cool. it's a nice little touch, and I, I did genuinely appreciate that. So JC, thank you very much for sending that in. Uh, next up here, I don't want anybody to see this flap that says October. <laughs> don't date the content. Uh, this is from uh, Brian Elliott, Deep River, Connecticut. I've been through uh, a lot of parts of Connecticut. I don't know if I've ever been to Deep River. I can't I can't name any of the rivers in uh, Connecticut, so I don't know which ones are the deep ones. A Yale River? A Yale There probably is. Um, I didn't I didn't prep this letter, so I didn't highlight anything. Uh, Dear Toy Galaxy, I'm a longtime fan of the show. Recently, I purchased a display box of these Shoto X Common Rider figures, and since I know Super One is your boy, I thought I would send them your way. Thank you for producing such quality entertainment. I've learned a ton of things about the properties I wouldn't have known otherwise. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, thanks again, Brian Elliott. All right, so we've got. Uh, I think this might be a full set of Kamen Rider unopened Shoto figures. Shoto, this is basically a line of, uh, we've had them on the show before. A uh, few people have sent them in. They're just like little four inch, super articulated, like really nice detailed, really nice paint, uh, collectible figures. Um, this line happens to all be uh, Kamen Rider pieces. So it looks like we've got Super One in here, which I do have a Super One, that's okay. Uh, this looks like it also has uh, a motorcycle, and then also some of the weapon accessories and weapon effects pieces, possibly. And then I don't know, I don't know Common Rider as well as I know Super Sentai. Uh, so I don't know this guy's name. I don't know the, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my Katakana, but uh, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to read that on camera here, but we got box one, box two, box three, four, five, and box six. So I think, I think that's the whole thing. I think that's the whole set. I can't do it. <laughs> so that's cool and we'll have fun uh, opening those up. Uh, definitely check out my Instagram at Toy Galaxy because I will be posting pictures of those as I open them, especially if there's a motorcycle in there because uh, I think I have probably like six or eight of those figures already, but I don't think I actually have any of the motorcycles to go with them. I had, uh, when I was a kid, I had, thank you, uh, thank you, Brian, for sending those in. Uh, when I was a kid, I had a uh, Super One motorcycle, but it looked different from that motorcycle, so I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal is there. All right, next up, we got Jason uh, Monholland from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. <laughs> this one I did uh, open, a note in here that I once again, didn't, didn't prep for. Uh, Dear Dan, Merry Christmas uh, to you and yours and also to producer Greg and his. Uh, not to be confused with Professor Greg. Uh, I procrastinated in sending this in. The gall. The gall oh. to procrastinate. Dare you, <laughs> this sir. This in. Uh, by the way. Look at that. Is this the best handwriting? In the Look world? at that handwriting. 
Yeah. Dang, that yeah, is. That's real. Real that writing. is penmanship. Yeah. That's I can't even call it handwriting. That's no. penmanship. Yeah, like Just the consistency of letter formation. Uh, anyway, so in here we also have the uh, Super Seven Toxic Crusaders, but it's not just a regular version of Toxie. You ever see that movie? Uh huh. It's not for kids. <laughs> it's not for kids. No. Uh, but this is nice. Fancy. Yeah, nice neon green box there. This is the glow in the dark oh, version. Heck. Yeah. Oh heck. Yeah. That's so awesome. definitely a cool piece. Uh not not to diminish this at all. Uh Super Seven just announced a version that is like translucent and it has like glittery, like metallic y sort of stuff mixed into it. Uh, I think the point is to make it look like, you know when the light hits like a, pu a puddle just right and there's mm -hmm. like oil or gas or something? I think it's supposed to look like that. Iridescent? Yeah, a yeah. little iridescent, a little toxic perhaps. Uh -huh. uh, but this is really cool. Never been a huge fan of the movies. I used to watch the cartoon all the time. Not going to sing the song, but it's playing in my head. <laughs> uh, so that's really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll definitely be adding that to the Glow in the Dark collection. That's awesome. I feel bad that we haven't been able to get to this until now, <laughs> uh, but better late than never. I was just it's a wise, say that. a very wise uh, person once said that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, next up, we have Michael Finley from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've definitely been to Pittsburgh. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael says, "Dear Dan, <clears throat> I've been planning to send this box for a while." This might be the oldest box that I have. <laughs> You're not supposed to date things. We're about to, we're about to lap it. You're not supposed to date things. <laughs> I've been planning to send this box for a while, but I watched the, there's still something wrong with the toy industry. Uh, it's actually, uh, the toy industry is still broken. Actually, it might have been the action figure industry is still broken. Uh, I just watched that video today and decided today that, uh, and decided today had to be the day. I hope it cheers you up a bit during this difficult time. <laughs> Look, I looked through it when it came in, so it did cheer me up. And it's going to double cheer you up right now. That's right, because I'm actually going to be able to take everything out and yeah. start posting pictures of it on my Instagram. A lot of cool stuff in here. <laughs> uh, we've got some Star Wars action figures, modern stuff. Did I say that dismissively? I didn't mean to. We got a uh, Vader with removable helmet. It's an okay figure. If you don't have a Vader with removable helmet, this one's not bad. This is uh, from Revenge of the Sith because he's got like baked Anakin. Uh, he's got uh, Hayden Christensen head. Mm -hmm. He's also got uh, red eye lenses there and he's got his lightsaber. He's not the most poseable figure, basically just uh, five POA, maybe six because I think this arm, you might be able to take that arm off. So seven POA, is his waist? yeah. Uh, and removable helmet. And then you've got the Emperor. Nope, I thought that was the Emperor. This is uh, a different version of Anakin. Because this is a whole set, you've got the, oh, yeah, this is, yeah. this is mangled, yeah. this is mangled beachfront Anakin oh, <laughs> after wow. he gets his bits chopped that off. Is, that is yeah. dramatic. Yeah, it is. And I think you put this on here, maybe. There it is. So, removable, <laughs> removable arms, oh, God. removable head. This is awful. Yeah, and then you put this on here. I mean, literally, the most gruesome, awful scene in the... Nonology, nine movies, mm -hmm. and uh, you just get to recreate it. You get to chop them up and uh, put it back together. We got more Star Wars here. This is all a bunch of bits. Somebody equipped some bits. <laughs> uh, this is a, uh, I think this is a Wookiee weapon. And then we got all these things. I don't know if this was a game. I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know if they're just supposed to be like holographic sort of things. Um, but we got, uh, is it still running? Whew. We got two Vaders. We got three Vaders. We got a, uh, I don't know. I think that's probably Obi-Wan maybe. We got a Darth Maul. We got a blue one of that guy. I think these are just generic Jedis. Um, you could probably build a uh, pretty cool chess set with this. And maybe that's what the point is. All right, so we got stands. That probably goes with them. More stands. Is this chapstick? I don't know we got an R2-D2. Nice uh, yellowing on the torso there. We got Han Solo. 
a bunch of other Star Wars bits, including uh, two coins. One's got the uh, Sandcrawler and Jawas, and then we've got Mace Windu. Some more Star Wars stuff. This is all like uh, early 2000s. We got Chancellor Palpatine, Django Fett. I, I, this whole, you know, like sculpt wise, good stuff, but the sort of pre posed things, I don't know. We got, uh, it's Han and Carbonite. Han. I don't know what the gimmick is here. This is probably one of the only Han and Carbonites that I didn't bother to pick up back in the day. But we got a Fett. There's a Fett in here. We got a Django Fett and a Boba Fett. He does that. This. So we got a General Grievous. That's fine. That's cool. We got Darth Maul. It's a nice looking Darth Maul. Sweet uh, cloth goods cape. A four-armed General Grievous. He's got some sort of action feature here. Uh, oh, this guy. I can't remember what his name is, but uh, this is like Tatooine, Mos Eisley. Just kind of drives by oh, the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. This guy. He's cool. Yeah, he's cool. That's I like that a lot. Uh, but then we got some stick fuzz. This oh, is where it's at. Fun. Yeah. We got the firefighter. We got, I don't know what this guy is supposed to be, secret agent or something. He's got like a crossbow. His arm just broke off. He's got a crossbow. <laughs> He's got rocket boots. He's got rocket launcher on his arm. He's got a big revolver. And then we have two different, they kind of look like two different superheroes. Uh, this guy's got like a big black cape and some goggles. And then this guy is just, you will not, no sneaking around under the cover of darkness for this guy. <laughs> he is right out there. I loved these things when they came out. Holy cow. I love them so much. Uh, I didn't, I didn't paint many of them I painted one and all I did was paint the head white instead of black <laughs> yeah I wasn't very uh, I wasn't out there taking risks or anything it cost money I don't want to paint something that I paid money for I didn't have I didn't have very much money then I don't have very much money now uh, this is the real gem out of uh, everything that's here not that this stuff isn't great it is but this is a bag full of Gundams <laughs> so this is awesome uh, mobile suit in action. Again, early 2000s. We've got GP01. Absolutely top 10 Gundam for me. We've got GP01 FB uh, with the, the Verniate jets on the back. This isn't all of his parts. He's missing some bits. Uh, we've got uh, this guy whose designation I can't remember. But he's got his shield so far. We've got the Alex Gundam with all of his armor bits. Uh, we've got, uh, ugh, you're looking a little rough there. I don't know if he has his hand. Uh, face and clothes on. Here we go. Grandpa Gundam RX-78-2. Here's his arm. Does he have his leg? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I have an extra leg for this somewhere, so that's all right. Uh, we have, uh, I think this was Nero Gundam. Love this one. One of my absolute favorites from uh, G Gundam. And then we've got uh, Rose Gundam. That's the uh, French one. Uh, and then I don't remember. This was the American one because he's the uh, he's got like a football helmet and a surfboard and two uh, six shooters. Oh, here's the uh, open face mode. Uh, this guy, this guy, we got a gun cannon, ah, just a bunch of really, really cool Gundams. Lots of really good stuff here. And a bunch of the ships too. We've got the booster, which should, ah, oh, these tiny little bags. There we go. We've got mobile armor. Oh, here's Gundam's leg. Here's Gundam's leg. He can pop over here if he wants to, as long as he does not touch the camera. We're good. I don't need you making your own movies over there, bud. We've got some ships, some more ships, tank, lots of cool stuff here. I will definitely be pairing all of that up. Hey, like it's the first time ever. Uh, last up here, we have Esteban Rodriguez from, hey, little buddy, how's it going? He's so good. He's such a good boy. <laughs> 
Yeah, he knows when anybody's in the kitchen, uh, he might get some treats. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to hang out, see if maybe I'll get some treats. The, the treat stool. Uh, so this is from Esteban Rodriguez. Esteban is literally one of the oldest, uh, one of the first, mm -hmm. one of the longest time fans of the show. Yeah. He was literally subscriber number 65 to the channel. Yes. Uh, when it, you know, that early on in the, in the, in the life of the channel, Greg and I were, you know, we would constantly be messaging each other back and forth. Ah, you know, subscriber number 66, subscriber number 70, 67. Do you know this person? Do you know this person? You know, literally just keeping tabs on every single subscription that well, that's came in. What I was going to say, like, not only that early, but that early and one of the first people that you didn't know. Yes, exactly. That wasn't exactly. Funny. And... Not from the United States. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Esteban's out of, uh, I wrote it down, Sonora, Mexico. Uh, and, you know, he... <laughs> All right. <laughs> In a minute. In a minute. We'll get to it. You should give him a treat. I don't have any treats. He's I didn't. I, he's being a very good boy. I didn't grab the treats. Anyway, Esteban Rodriguez, one of the oldest fans of the show. Uh, he's been with us since the beginning for a very long time. He was out there promoting us when we were nobody. We were nothing. He just, he saw the show. He got it. He saw something and said, everybody else needs to know about this. So for literally every other person that came in, I thank Esteban. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, Esteban sent in. Uh, oh, and... Please, absolutely, go check out his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram. He is Iron Steve on Instagram. Please check that out. And his uh, YouTube channel is called, I wrote it down, uh, Devastacion Analogica. Might be Analogica, I don't know. Uh, Devastacion Analogica. Uh, please go check out his channel. Uh, it is in Spanish, I think, mostly. Um, so, you know, it's mostly about film and horror. And yeah, it's great. <laughs> It's uh, lots of cool stuff. But go give him a subscription. So in here we have, I'm trying to hide. Oh. I'm trying to build the okay. moment. Yeah. yeah, okay. So in here we have <laughs> just some horrible, horrible, horrible knockoffs. Uh, bootlegs, I don't know where the line is. I don't know what the distinction is, but these are like, these gotta be handmade, hand painted handcrafted not by not by esteban uh but stuff that uh, he picked up around am i boring you <laughs> yeah uh treat, we right? have this incredible spider-man this god tier batman that is just absolutely i mean my goodness uh and a couple of non-posable they're all non-posable he's got arms uh this is i think this is thor <laughs> cap and Spider-Man, and then this incredible, for me, one-of-a-kind <laughs> Boba Fett with a blaster that I don't even think I can get him to hold it in his hands. But it's uh, very, you know what, it's based off of uh, the Power of the Force 95-96 uh, era figure. Pretty sure this is Dash Rendar's torso, mm -hmm. uh, Hoth Han's legs, I think they're Hoth Han, Han's arms as well. And then a uh, Boba Fett head with a blaster that I don't think I've seen from anybody before. Uh, so that is an absolutely gorgeous piece. A uh, little bit of a little touch of paint here and there. Nothing spectacular. Uh, but more importantly, these are nice and I appreciate them. But uh, this is a uh, illustration by Esteban. It says, Dear Dan and Producer Greg, uh, you know, uh, what, would I, what would I say? Esteban Rodriguez. And it's a drawing of Sun Vulcan my favorite Super Sentai team, Eagle Shark Panther, uh, a fantastic illustration. That's not even the best thing. The best thing in here. So early on, Esteban sent in, uh, or sent a photo uh, of a drawing he had done, which was me as Vol Eagle from Sun Vulcan. And I have that picture. <laughs> it's in my photos. And uh, I think I posted it on my Instagram. Uh, but this is the, uh, he sent me the drawing. He sent me the actual drawing that he did that up until this point, I only had the photograph of, and right here it's dated 2016, um, September 16th, 2016. And that's, uh, that's me 
as Vol Eagle, an incredible piece. Uh, this kind of thing, more important to me <laughs> than any of the other, you know, toy related stuff. Uh, to, to have this drawing, to have these two drawings uh, is a really big deal. So please go check out his Instagram, go check out his YouTube channel, give him a follow. Uh, hopefully, Hopefully you can watch his videos and uh, I don't know how good. I, I tried watching with the like live subtitling and translation. It's not the best, but you can at least, you know, get a sense of what's going on. And he's got the charisma and he's doing a lot of stuff with, you know, just being fun and having a big personality and clearly enjoying the stuff that he's talking about. So go check that out. Devastacion Analogica and Iron Steve on Instagram. Uh, thank you again, Esteban, for the drawings, for the stuff, for sending this in. It's, uh, it's a really big deal and it means a lot to me. Uh, thank you to everybody who has sent stuff in. Uh, Robbie, JC, Brian, Jason, Michael, Esteban again. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below letting me know what you liked <laughs> out of all this stuff. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be better than uh, God tier Batman here, but uh, best of luck to the rest of the competitors. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, be sure that you do follow us uh, on our regular Toy Galaxy channel called Toy Galaxy. Uh, and then also follow us on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash toygalaxy. Uh, we are beginning to uh, work things out over there. We're still sort of in the like figuring it out phase, but we're, we're ramping up quick, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, and I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Later. Bye.